here with Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker, and I can't imagine how full your email inbox is today. People <laughs> complaining. Chris, I thought we were done with this. Yeah, they were waiting for me outside my house this morning <laughs> with picket signs. We are not uh, done by a long shot, but boy, this morning, really some numbers to shake your head at. Let's take a look at some of the snowfall totals from across the region. These are 24-hour totals, not since midnight. 3.8 inches officially at the airport in Spokane. Davenport, 4 inches of snow, 4 inches also at Loon Lake. Down on the Palouse, that's where we really saw some impressive totals. Moscow at 7 inches, north of Mead, 7.5 inches of snow from this late winter, early spring storm across the region. Our 24-hour total was 3.8, but officially since midnight, 2.4 inches. That is a new record for the day. So far this month, we've had 3.8 inches of snow. Our average April snow is 2.5, so we're already well uh, over average, and we're only two days into the month. This was also the seventh snowiest April day on record. We were already in the number one spot for the snowiest seasons on record in Spokane, but we've only solidified that title. 97.6 inches of snow this season makes it the snowiest season ever in Spokane. I was thinking we are awfully close to the 100-inch mark. So, we, you know, we might as well, as long as we're going to have this record to uh, record, you know, I'm getting booed. All right, this record-breaking winter, we might as well really do it upright. Taking a look at our Doppler radar right now, we've transitioned from snow to some thunderstorm activity this evening, mainly south of Spokane, but just barely south of Spokane. Heavy rain, some pea-sized hail. We have had some cloud-to-ground lightning. That's all starting to taper off as our sun sets and we lose our daytime heating. Mixing with snow in spots as well, but little additional accumulation, if any, from the storms in progress right now, except in the central Panhandle Mountains where we could still see some accumulation tonight. But this activity will be tapering off and we'll be seeing isolated showers tonight through tomorrow morning and then only a sprinkle or flurry or two through the day tomorrow. Our temperatures right now in the 30s in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, 50s for Moses Lake and Wenatchee. It's 48 right now in Lewiston. Slow moving area of high pressure or low pressure moving off to the east. High pressure is building in for the weekend as the slow pressure makes its way into the Intermountain West. That's where the winter storm watches and warnings are in effect tonight. Some severe weather as we head to the deep south no tornado warnings right now, but some severe thunderstorms in progress in parts of Georgia. Lingering showers for tomorrow, mainly in the morning and mainly in the form of snow with an overnight low tonight of 32. Then a drying and warming trend that takes us into an amazing weekend. 50 on Saturday, almost up to average. Sunday, 55 and potentially our first 60 degree day of the season on Monday. Okay, now no, we're not booing that. We were no. just that whole like 100 <laughs> inches thing. No idea. We're the whole idea. Good. You weren't booing me specifically. No. no Although it was kind of your idea to like break the 100 you mark. Are so, suggesting, no, no, no. Maybe. I really don't have any say. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah.